Information on one of three people in our area to die from a rare flesh-eating bacteria called fibriosis. Now, we've learned that death in Suffolk County was a man over the age of 55 who was from Brookhaven. Health officials tell us he went into brackish water there in the sound while he had a cut on his leg, and that is likely how the bacteria got into his system, leading to his hospitalization and his death. Two other people in Connecticut also died from this bacteria. Over the years, this disease has caused alerts in different parts of the country. And important to note, you can also get it from eating raw seafood. Eyewitness News reporter Shante Lands with more. An urgent news warning about swimming in salt water and eating raw shellfish. Officials have announced three deaths in recent weeks, one in Suffolk County, Long Island, and two in Connecticut from vibriosis, an illness caused by a flesh-eating bacteria found naturally in salt water. Doctors say people can get infected through an open wound or by eating raw, infected shellfish, including oysters, clams, and scallops. This organism kind of just floats in the water. It's associated with oysters, which are there to kind of filter the water. Experts say the number of cases of vibriosis have increased over the years, likely due to warming coastal waters where the bacteria thrives. And it's not just the Northeast. Last month, three people died from vibriosis infections in North Carolina. Symptoms include stomach cramps, vomiting, fever, and chills. Precautions for avoiding the potentially deadly bacteria include protecting open wounds from seawater. And doctors say people with compromised immune systems should be careful of eating or handling raw seafood. But typically it's patients with uh, diabetes, uh, peripheral vascular disease, which means reduced blood flow to the limbs. Um, Anybody on immunosuppression, so medications that can cause you to be immunocompromised, chronic liver disease also. Shante Lands, Channel 7, Eyewitness News. Well, we want to take a deeper look into this bacteria, and we're joined now by Dr. B Bernard Kamen. He's a medical director for infection prevention at Mount Sinai Health System. Good afternoon, doctor. Thank you for being with us today. Good afternoon, and thank you for having me. So we mentioned, we just mentioned in that story that the this deadly bacterial infection is related to eating raw seafood or swimming in salt or brackish water. We do not want to scare people. It is summer, so everybody you know is at the beach. Do we need to be on alert around here? I think it's important for everyone to remember that to, to look at the warning signs, right? So while anyone can get sick from Vivra vulnificus, the majority of people who have complications or who have severe disease are the ones who are um, who have cancer, diabetes, as your other experts spoke to, uh, anyone with HIV or someone who's taking uh, immunosuppressive uh, medication as well that, that causes their immune system to be weakened. If you're diagnosed with it, how do you treat it? Well, you actually have to get antibiotics uh, almost uh, immediately because people do unfortunately die from sepsis, meaning your blood pressure drops and potentially you can get multi-organ failure. The um, When we talk about someone with liver disease is actually um, eating raw oysters or raw shellfish. So. In, in that population, I think the advice that we always give is to actually avoid, especially raw oysters. And then for as far as wounds are concerned, um, you do need to just watch out, especially if you're in a high risk category, that if you have a cut on your leg to not um, wade in, in seawater, potentially avoid it. And to look at the warning signs, right? So redness, warmth, tenderness to that spot. So it's almost like a wound, but it can get worse really fast. Yeah, so I'm hearing you say, and I just want to be clear, I fell down, skinned my knee, I'm going to the beach tomorrow, I don't have any of the uh, other health conditions that you mentioned, I likely don't have to worry about this this particular bacterial uh, issue. It, so I, I, I would like to qual clarify that a little bit. You don't necessarily have to worry, meaning it's rare enough, but you do also need to just make sure your wound, you know, you check your the 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 cut and make sure that it doesn't get infected. So, all right. Well, thank you for making time for us, Dr. Bernard Kamins, medical director for infection prevention at Mount Sinai Health System. Appreciate you joining us this afternoon. Thank you very much.